hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in today's video we are going to discuss about application insight availability test okay in this video we will be creating the test in application insight and we will understand and see all the details like what we need to create the availability test and how we can monitor our applications in the regular interval across the world okay so i have this documentation open which is from microsoft you can see the definition of the application insight availability test so basically you can monitor your application availability and responsiveness generally this uh, test send web request to your application at regular intervals so you'll have to set the regular interval interval suppose you want to set for five minutes 10 minutes or maybe in seconds and then this will ping your or send a web request to your application and it will wait for the status code if a status code is successful then it, the test will be successful or if the status code, code is something that is unsuccessful then your test will be fail based on that you can set up alerts and it will create alerts for you or you can generate incidents or whatever you want with that alert okay so let's now go to application insight this is my application insight you if you don't have one you can set up one I have already made a video on this application insight you can go and create this okay and you can integrate this with your application suppose if you have function app or something else you can go and integrate that this with your application so that you can see all the lo logs there here in the transaction search okay and the thing which we are going to discuss today is also called synthetic monitoring okay so this is how synthetic monitoring can be set up by going into the availability so if you go into your application insight and click on availability here you can create the availability test okay so generally you get two options here to create a classic test and create, create an a standard test so classic test is kind of old generally we should be creating the standards test this is advanced and this has so many features available so if you just click on classic test uh, like you generally get two options here in the sq url ping and one is multi-step so i mean this url ping generally you can ping some url and check if that is working fine or not if not then based on that you can set the alerts and in case of multi-step you can uh, monitor multiple urls at a time okay so this is going to retire so you should not be using this much and even uh, url ping is also going to retire so now let's move to a standard test to create a standard test just click on add standard test here you will have to provide the test name suppose whatever test you want to provide you can provide according to your requirement like so suppose you want to ping some site like let me ping google okay so I will just enter the address of Google here. Okay, so this is the Google URL and this is my test name. You can keep all these at default. So if you just enable the SSL certificate validity, it will check for the SSL certificates as well that is the site which you have pasted here has a valid SSL certificate or not 
okay if some uh, for some reason your ssl is expired then it will the test will fail okay now here you will have to uh, you will have to specify the test frequency if you click on this details button you will see the frequency at which the test will be executed okay so generally you will have you can specify in the interval of 5 minutes 10 minutes or 15 minutes okay so if you are selecting 5 minutes and selecting 5 uh, locations then basically you are running your you are pinging this website in the interval of one minute at five locations it i mean each locations will ping at the inter interval of one minute okay <clears throat> so if you are doing 10 minutes uh, or selecting these 10 locations then in the 10 minutes all 10 locations will ping this url okay that means your this uh, url will be pinged each minute from all the 10 locations okay let's keep it to five minutes and five test locations. you can change the test locations based on the requirement so suppose you want to test your application from west europe west us north europe whatever the region you can select it and based on that your application will be tested okay here you will have to provide the http request so this is our get request so we will select the get if you want something else patch post delete put then you can do that as well based on your requirement if you want to add headers you can add it from here okay you'll have to specify the success criteria here okay <clears throat> here you'll have to provide the test timeout and the http re response code suppose you want this test to be successful when uh, this 200 response uh, response code is there if response code is not 200 then this will fail okay and if you want to pass this test when response code is less than 400 you can always select this okay but in most of the cases you should be selecting this because the response code is always 200 if your status check is successful okay and finally in the alerts you can keep this as disabled or enable okay so if you have enabled it it will generate a alert and will alert you as well okay now let me create it so if i create it it will just take few seconds to create and one test will be created so what this test will do this test will basically ping google.com which i have specified as url here in the interval of five minutes okay from each of the locations where i have given here in the test okay let me edit it again so this is my url this is the test frequency and these are all the locations okay so this google.com will be pinged every five minutes from each locations okay now let me close it and refresh the page so if your if your application is working you will see 100 percent availability test okay see ping google the test is 100 percent if i just expand it it say it is being tested from central us france central north central south central and southeast asia which we uh, which we had selected while creating the test okay so this is how you can test your application by creating availability test in application insights 
okay let me show you by creating another test as well in that we'll just specify some random website which is not available so let me try something like this so of course this should not be available let me try this just click on create okay so we should have two tests created now you can see this test random this is zero percent because this is not reachable see if you click on it you will get all the details here like how many are failed and how many are successful so in this all are failed because this site is of course not reachable and if some are successful it will, it will come as uh, five successful or whatever you have successful and here we have five failed it checked from all the five locations at a time that's why it has five failed let me click on it and you will see all the logs here as well okay. it will take some time to load the logs let me check for the first one if we have some logs So this is the one see here is the logs this is for the successful logs it is pinging everything like it is pinging https google.com you will see all the details here if suppose your request has been failed then it will show all the error logs and everything here but this has passed it will show all the details run location test duration test result and test name okay let me check for the fail ones yeah so see this has failed and the reason is the remote name could not be resolved abcd dot the uh, site which we had given is cannot be resolved that's why this test has failed okay you can see the message here as well so this is how we monitor our applications in the application sheet application inside if you have any uh, of the applications that can be either private or public application you can monitor it from here across all the locations in the world and create the alerts by going to alerts here uh, and setting up alert rules okay so you can set up the alert rules see one alert is already generated and this is fired because we had created this availability test and while creating we had enabled this alert okay so if you see here in the alert we had enabled it so it has automatically cre created an alert if you go to alerts here one one alert is generated if you come here and you will see all the details okay history summary and based on based on this you can do something else like you can create action group you can send emails or you can generate alerts uh, or you can generate incidents as well in service now or maybe somewhere else some third party tools whenever you want okay if you want to set up your own alert rules by coming into alerts you can create alert rules and you can set up your alert rules from here as well okay 
so this is how you can monitor your applications any applications that can be either private or public you can monitor it from here you will see all the logs related to this application here also you can if you open the transaction search you can see everything here as well okay from here you can open any of it and you can search it you can see all the logs here okay so this is the uh, at the moment i have done this for public application if you want to do it for private one you will have to enable privately you will have to uh, create ampls and in the network isolation you will have to integrate your ampls to connect privately through your virtual network okay we will see this in another video okay that's it from that's it from this video we will meet in another video with some different topic if you like this video click like please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching